This is Spiller, and he stopped in the backfield. Derek Morgan, the only one talking to you from Sweeney, but he's their kicker. You got to keep him there mentally. You might need him later. Parker, pressured and sacked. Morgan again, second big play. The speed of which Derek Morgan comes off the top, he says, I'm a great pass rusher, I'm a get off at the snap guy. It's going to be very difficult. They got to block him now in third as well. He gets around the edge. Parker gets it away. Karen intercepted. Just two for six on third down. He needs six. Parker, this time cannot escape, and Derek Morgan got him again. We'll have to stop tech first. Open that second half. Parker will be dropped again. One more time, Mr. Morgan. Three sacks and a half. Line up all over the field. Here, instead of just pinning himself back, it's a stun. He works inside. The change of direction, his ability to lower his center of gravity. Waffelsberger with the Steelers. And also was at the Eagles. Longtime head coach of UMass. And one double A. And Javaris James hammers straight ahead. In fact, Whipple, respectable. This is James on second and ten. Hammers straight ahead for about three. They've got the materials ready. Third and five. Harris flips it off. Short. Benjamin. Home base, not linebacker. Another first down throw. Harris has time. Dumps it short. Benjamin on a crossing route. He's concerned. You know, third game in 12 days again. Harris again flips it short. James has it. Javaris James. Down near, the pressure didn't work. On the hurry up, Cooper bounced outside and dropped for a loss. So Harris, 24 seconds. Let's see if they take a shot downfield. They'll dump it off short, and Cooper wrestled. It. Is that number nine? He has been starting since he was a freshman, and as you would expect, they took a loss and only managed a couple of field goals. Here's a third and seven. Lewis, who was hit by Derek Morgan as he got to Hillside High School in Durham, right at midfield. Scott. To start this play. On third and three in the red zone, another high snap. Lewis looking in the end zone, has a man wide open. The yards in his collegiate debut against North Carolina Central. Struggled since and going down, Thaddeus Lewis. Thaddeus Lewis yeah, and Morgan is going to be the uh, left defensive end right out here, and it's just a speed rush. Just going to work outside, and Jared Holt has no help whatsoever. Championship game in January. Little fake by Lewis. Morgan has him, and Lewis just threw it up. Go ahead and let this thing run, you guys. You're going to see the pressure coming from Morgan from the left side. And Derek Lewis, or excuse me, Thaddeus Lewis, you're going to be leaning back. First Duke penalty, and then a... And he's been pretty good. Catch that tonight, prime time. All right, this Duke offense has really been struggling the last few drives. 120 teams in the bowl subdivision, averaging only 68 yards per game. One reason is because Lewis is so effective. Lewis has the pocket collapse around him. Makes it second and 19. Lewis moving around, there's a flag down, should be a holding. Here's a hog tie right here. <laughs> Got him around the neck and flopped him down. His eye keep 78th in the country against the pass, 32nd against the run. But Georgia running right at them and through them. Playing that noise through the PA system with Georgia on offense. Cox under the rest, throws it away. Very talented junior class for Georgia Tech. He's a junior. Cox throws it. Man open back of the end zone. Stuck in the red zone to force a field goal shot. Cox with time. Runs out of three. Went empty. Nobody back there. So you have five receivers out. And the key to this is the offensive line. Third down. He's going to throw. And a blitz coming. And Cox gets it off. Here's the guy up top. You can see it's Derek Morgan. Does a really good job. And the country has fewer than three fumble recoveries. Big third down and three. Cox had to pull it down. And he is set. Touchdown. And Sean, they come with a blitz and they go man to man coverage outside. And just watch now. Third and three. 
Here he comes, and Parker got rid of it. King Derek Morgan. They're going to try to just block him one on one with Landon Walker at the top. Already in the red zone. At the Yellow Jacket 19. They give it to Spiller. The breather here, Jamie Harper, will be in the Tigers' backfield. Play action. Parker. Got away from Morgan. Yeah, he's so quick off the ball. Watch number 91. He just beats Thomas Austin, the best offensive lineman. Uh, Tampa's done an excellent job for us here, and uh, we look forward to being uh, in North Carolina, here in Charlotte. He contributed a, a, a substantial amount to cancer research, and they all pulled that money together. I think it was up around the house back. They throw by 10. Jacoby Ford in motion. DJ Spiller trying to cut back, and Eric Morgan the ACC saying hello. Again, he's so quick off the ball, and, and they're trying to cut him off with Jacoby Ford. I mean, that, that's not a real Palmer, the tight end on the move on second and 15. Walker rolls that way. Gonna have to hurry to get rid of it. Seems like a mile right now if you're a Clemson Tiger fan. Parker steps up in the pocket. First and 10 from the 34, and the handoff to Adam Robinson. Stanzi with time, and the pass playing practice came about, so it'll be second down and three. And here is Wager, the third wide receiver, number 22, in the slot. Stanzi, seven of Georgia Tech, start of the second quarter, and the handoff to Adam Robinson, and he fired. Brandon Wager is now the tailback. Carries on first down. You notice how he's been playing on the opposite side? This time he moves to the right side, trying to get a matchup to rush the passer. And he's rushing. Stanzi cannot make a play as Stanzi. Georgia Tech holds. And he's rushing against the best pass protector for the Iowa Hawkeyes, Brian Bulaga, the All-American deep offensive tackle for, for Iowa. And really, there could have probably been a team for the Hawkeyes. And Adam Robinson, and five yards a clip, and they go to Wager again, going outside and looking to redeem himself and the team. Stancy with good protection, and it's Patty Seven. Stancy, go. They can do what they want on offense. Got the 32, and it's a handoff to Adam Robinson. First down for Robinson. Again, they go to Robinson, and Robinson, Stanzi, and Morgan trying to get him, and even though Morgan was right behind him. Almost appeared like Stanzi was the rabbit, his back foot just escaping the trap. Yeah, he knew. And got away and picks up the first down, the trap being Derek Morgan, the ACC Defensive Player of the Year, giving chasing game tonight. Second down and 10. Pressure on Stanzi. Take a look, because Jefferson is going to come up the middle. There's Sylvester, and then Jefferson late. Third down and goal, Stanzi. Looking for a receiver. This one up on the offensive line for Tech. Wager. And this time, 